So, you want to get into modding Slime Rancher? Awesome! It's a perfect time to get into it because nowadays there is a much bigger library of mods to choose from. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install mods on the Nexus website as well as the UMod framework. Now keep in mind, I'm mostly focusing on the PC version. I have no knowledge on how to install the console versions. Also keep in mind that your main save file may become corrupted. The best way to prevent that is having a backup file just in case. With that disclaimer out of the way, let's get ranging. Oh. Okay, let's start with the most popular website for modding, Nexus Mods. Before installing anything, you first need to create an account. Don't worry, it's completely free. Once you have your account made, next look for the Slime Rancher Loader. This is going to be the main core of your mods. Without it, any of the mods you have installed will not work without it. Installing it is very simple. Click on the latest version, which is usually on the very top. Click on manual, slow download. Make sure you have the file saved directly to the Slime Rancher folder. Next, go to the file that you saved it to. Click on the installation and it will do practically everything for you. A file will appear in the same folder titled SRML. Click on it. Then on mods. The mod folder will be the main file where you put all your mods. Okay then, now you got the loader installed. Next, you can fully install any mod within the Nexus website, specifically the Slime Rancher category. Once you have chosen the mod, for the sake of this video, let's go with the Tar Rancher. Read the directions that the modder provides. Also, I suggest looking at the requirements. It may require multiple mods installed before having the mod you want specifically to work properly. You read the instructions and the requirements? Good. Now you can fully download the mod as you did with the loader. Install the latest version, slow download, and make sure you save it into the Slide Manager folder once more. Here's a quick tip. I suggest creating a separate folder specifically for your saved mods. If you're planning to install multiple mods, create a folder to have these files saved with them to keep things very organized. That's what I did. Open the file that you installed, drag and drop the context within the mod folder that I previously stated. Now the mod's properly installed. If you're unsure if the mod was correctly installed, boot up the Slime Rancher game, click on the mod category on the main menu, and you should find the mod that you installed in the selection area. Another way to check if the mods are properly installed is going to your control panel. Click on control tab on your keyboard. On the very top right of your screen should be mods. Click on that and the list of your installed mods should be seen on your screen. So yeah, you're pretty much good to go. If you encounter an error like this one right here, don't panic, there's an easy fix for this. Usually this happens when a file is not compatible with another mod. The best way to fix this issue is by either removing the mod that you just installed out of the folder or removing a older mod that you installed. If you have a ton of mods in that folder, you may have to kind of experiment on what's compatible or not. It's trial and error, really. Luckily, this pop-up rarely happens. A lot of the modders do keep up to date on their mods. Now, moving away from Nexus to the UMod framework. This loader is extremely easy to load. On the very top left of the screen, go to Downloads, click on UMod Framework, follow the instructions, again, save this installer into your Slime Rancher folder.
Once you've done that, click on the UMF installer. It will ask you on which folder to save. Make sure you save it on the Slide Manager main folder on whichever drive you pick. That's extremely critical. This will allow the loader to instantly download any mod within their website, so as long as Slime Rancher related. On the top left of the screen, hover over the same download area, click on Mods, and you should see a, a large category of mods to install. In this video, we're looking for Slime Rancher specifically. Go to the search engine, put down Slime Rancher, and you should see a list of working, non-working Slime Rancher mods. For this video, I'm looking for the cheating mod. Click on install. And there you go. It's automatically saved in your UMod framework file. When you boot up Slime Rancher, you will see a little pop-up on the screen of all the information of the UMod framework. Don't worry though, it, it will not interfere your game. Just click on close and the mod should be properly installed. Don't worry, the Slime Rancher loader as well as the UMod framework is completely compatible. You won't face any sort of errors or complications. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? Did I miss anything? If you're still having issues or complications, comment down below. I'll do my best to fix whatever issue you may encounter. Or better yet, join my Discord server. More than happy to help you on any issue you may encounter. I hope this video was helpful. Like always, stay wiggly.